Hello, or thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading the Earth Class Notes, written by the Twelfth Apostle, entitled Notice Number Six, War. In this special Earth Class of Notice Number Six on War, six is the number of man who is the cause of most all war. The numbers of war, or the numbers of people killed in war, does not pardon their soul or make them worthy to be with God and Jesus forever. Only the specific understanding, knowledge, and belief of the total truth of God and his plan can do that for the responsible human soul. Words can easily be deceiving. As David wrote in Psalm 55, 21, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. True sovereign decisions determines destiny, but the bombs of war do not choose. Now, war is a terrible thing. We have all seen pictures of war from human history, and some have even personally participated in war of the mortals. But few understand spiritual war. The angels of God have spirit bodies that are very much like our spirit bodies in physical size and shape, for all are servants of God with continual tasks, consisting primarily of taking the spirit bodies of humans at the death of their mortal bodies from conception to any age thereafter, with most mortal deaths being in war of many kinds, and placing them within the earth or at the third heaven, along with the spirit bodies and souls of animals. The angels do not have wings to fly with, as they can move very fast through altered earth and its atmosphere, but to travel great distances through space, they use aerial crafts that they have constructed long ago. Remember, the angels' bodies and all spirit bodies cannot be hurt, damaged, or destroyed, and never get tired, have to eat, drink, or sleep, never produce body waste, as it has no liquid content. I sadly understand why most are not going to believe this truth, primarily because they don't agree with it, which is a very wrong attitude to have, or with most, they don't even access it when they could, but I love them all, as God does also. Long, long ago in spirit time, it would be very long ago in mortal time, even if we could measure it, after the fall of Lucifer and Diana, the only two angels God ever created, Lucifer and one-third of his vast progeny and their descendants from his beautiful angelic wife, Diana, soon learned that spirit matter cannot be destroyed only changed negatively, which they did to God's beautiful creations of giant hollow spheres in the expanding universe heavens that we still see in the visible universe today, that God and his holy angel servants will very quickly soon restore to even greater indestructible splendor, with some of us giving help and timely suggestions. There will be no more mortal bodies to age, hurt, suffer, and die in, those worthy to be with God and Jesus will populate the new expanding heavens and we will be joyful forever in perfect, youthful spirit bodies that will never age, hurt, suffer, or die with no more war ever. To experience this cycle of pain, suffering, and death over and over again, as some souls on altered earth believe, would be regrettable as all evil deception is. Notice when you learn, understand, know, and believe this proven truth. And it will set you free to love all others more and to share this truth. May we... Take notice. Until next time.